screaming and this is what it is. What are you guys doing? <laughs> We're pulling Scarlett and Brody around the house. <laughs> Wait, let me see in there. Hi! <laughs> no, it's funny because we can't see anything. Because you can't see anything? Yeah. yeah! Does it feel like a roller coaster ride or what do you do? It feels like a blind roller coaster ride. Oh my goodness, you guys are silly. Okay, have yeah. fun. I keep it crazy, family. So Liam's here helping me open a box. Oh, and Rylan too. What's happening? We're opening this box. From Tracy Lee. Shout out to you, Tracy. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, wait. You have to see that. Thank you, Tracy. Wait, Thank someone you, got talkie. Liam got talkie. Wait, they're all marked. So make sure they go to the right person. Hey, this is Liam. The petted dogs. The petted dogs. Does that look the petted dogs? That's for Aurora, yeah. Hello! So she gave me one for Mother's Day. Thank you, Tracy. Oh, look how cute. Who is that one? So it's a car fragrance, and you put it in the little turtle. I love it. Thank you so much, Tracy. You add joy to so many people's lives. Thank you for that. You're beautiful. <laughs> Energy and kindness is contagious and makes me smile and strive to be a better human. God bless you. Thank you, Tracy. Hi, Keep It Crazy family. So my one of my really good friends, Carrie, has like this farm. <laughs> horse stables? I don't know what you call it. What do you call a horse farm? Stables. Stables. Stables? Yeah, that's what they stand. Okay, but anyway, she has a horse there that just had a baby. So we are on our way over to see this baby, this baby horse. It was just born yesterday. So I'm like really excited. Are you I, looking forward to it? I don't think I've ever seen a horse that was just born like that. You never seen a baby horse like that? I've never seen a baby horse. Aww. I'm gonna do a little, you know, photo thing. <laughs> He's gonna do his photo thing. Yeah. And Rylan, have you ever seen a baby horse? I've no. never seen a horse. Yes, you have. Mom. What? A baby cow and a puppy. It's a baby, baby horse. <laughs> baby horse. I want to pet it. You want to pet it? Yeah. Okay, you gotta listen to Carrie though, okay? Because it's just a baby. Okay. You gotta be a good listener. Okay. Okay? <laughs> You're so cute. All right, let's do this. Hi! Ooh. We're excited to see this yes. baby horse. I've been, Are you exhausted? Oh my gosh, I've been in that barn for like, the horse has been here for like 21 days. And the mare had so many things wrong with it as far as like gestationally. She had placentitis and Aww. blah, 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 and stuff like that. And so we were just worried the baby was gonna be born breech and this and for it to turn out like perfectly like no problems whatsoever we're just like thrilled yay we're thrilled so i can't wait to show you so carrie was just telling me that her is it your role or is it like it's my role okay it's carrie's role is that you have to pet the mom first and yeah. then the baby because everyone tends to give the baby all the love and attention. And then what about the mama that did so good? Okay, so I this, feel like that should be real life too. It should be. <laughs> like when you come to the hospital to see the baby. Yeah. Like, I'm seeing the, the mom. Baby, I'm seeing the mom. You know? Right. But, so this is Tash. She is a recipient mare. So she is actually completely unrelated to the baby. Which it's I a thought, surrogate? It's a surrogacy pregnancy. <laughs> so She's a surrogate thought, mom. I thought that you would enjoy that, but that's she came. So cute. She came from Texas. So we're gonna do something called imprinting. So a horse is a prey animal and we are predators so it's not natural for a prey animal to let a predator come up to them and touch them or ride on them things like that so because this baby has no bad habits and doesn't know any any different we're teaching her that this world just comes with people and these people can touch her all over the place right on her legs on her hip you know stuff like that right and so what we're going to do is we're going to lay her down and it's we're going to flood her with sensation so we're just going to touch her everywhere 
and we're not going to quit touching her in those particular spots until she relaxes in that exercise. We're going to do this twice a day for three days and then we're going to start to lead her. And in the first two weeks before she goes home, this baby will know how to lead, yield, um, cross a bridge, pick up the feet for a farrier and get in a horse trailer all calmly so that she doesn't get hurt. So nice. although this looks like the baby's freaked out, she's not. She just isn't used to having somebody pick up her feet. So that's that's all we're doing, okay? Okay. loves horses. So Hallie brought Jamie. Woo! Hey. Yay! Open your heart Spend this time in your head With every star We are born again Open your heart Spend this time in your head I was so peaceful. Right at the end, the baby's like, I mean, the fact that baby was sleeping in your lap without you holding onto her feet at all, without trying to get up, and then the mom comes over and the mom checked you out. She like read your resume. She's like, is this guy okay? <laughs> no, seriously, that's what, it, that's what happened. That's literally what was going on there. And the mom was like, yeah, I approve. You're good. You know? Yeah. So you are mayor approved. I have parents for Staring out of the miles of land with daddy. That was so much fun. Thank, Thank you, you for coming over. Erin had a blast. I know. Wow. On the earth. This, this is so cute. This, so yeah, it's uh it's I'm trying to convince him to bring Joe tomorrow and we're gonna put Joe through his paces. I think that'll be fun. <laughs> and and don't tell That'll be fun. Don't tell we might we might convince him to bring Hannah and have her get her hands. Hannah through. will not. Hannah will flip out. Yeah, she won't <laughs> do that. I don't think she would do it. I don't know. But it's it's you're like, why am I doing this? I'm sweating. The baby's fighting me. It just, it, why am I doing this? And right the very last, like, five or ten minutes, when the baby just, like, goes, that's why we do it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you enjoy it? It was amazing. The, ten like, out of cool ten would recommend. I've ever done. Yeah. Like, seriously. Yeah. And you get to do that all the time. Well, not all the I mean, time. But next year, so I don't advertise. I just do word of mouth. And um, the vet recommended me to a uh, national, um, actually a Hall of Fame and barrel racer. And she recommended me to this leader, who then has recommended me to more people. And so she's going to bring two more horse babies in next year. And her friend's going to bring three. So next year, I'll have five babies. Oh, wow. Aww. Five. I need help. Next year, I will need help. Well, seriously, that was Thank amazing. You. And if you ever need help, feel free to give me a call. Absolutely. Thank I you guys for coming road, down. So. Yeah. Thank Max, you. I want to see those pictures. All right, yeah, uh, we'll send, send them to you. the horses was absolutely amazing um, that was really one of the coolest experiences of my life really yeah you would say that i would say that that's so sweet it was awesome. so as you guys know holly did a horse therapy for a while and i just think that horses are so therapeutic and there's just something about them that just like you know it's good um, okay, so quick couple of things. Actually, this is really funny. So Hallie came over a little bit ago and she was like, Mom, I have a confession to make. And I was like, you have a confession? I was like, what the heck? She's like, you need to vlog it. And I was like, okay. So here's the clip of her confession. So my confession, and I didn't think I'd be saying this. So it's really hard. Um, I have an addiction to gluten-free oatmeal cookies. Like, it's it's gotten bad. It's, oh my gosh, it's an that's your hair. It's an addiction at this point. I eat one every day, <laughs> every day. And if I run out, which happens quite often, um, I go to the store and I get one. Every time I'm at the store, I look for those. That is the first thing that's on my mind when I go grocery shopping. It's It's bad. Is 
Yeah, that's my confession. She's so funny. So even after we were done like filming it, she's like, no, I'm being serious, mom. I'm going to the store to get cookies right now. And I'm like, what the heck? That was just so random, but so funny. I don't know. She's Girl's so gotta have her cookies. You gotta have her cookies. Okay, so a couple of quick things. Um, just like little a couple little updates that I wanted to give you guys really quick. Um, so I know some of you have been asking if we are planning on going to VidCon this year. And the answer is... Some of us. Yes, some of us. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know exactly who's going yet. Um, I know Alex wants to go... Ariana and Hallie. I think Max wanted to go. Max, I want to go. Are you wanting to go? He's going back and forth. That's going why back I and asked. Forth. Yeah, yeah, I I didn't go last year with you guys, and I did kind of regret not going. Well, like t- three years ago, two years ago, they've canceled the last couple oh, years. Oh yeah, true. But, yeah. But I remember the one time I did go, they had some like really good food trucks, and you guys all know me. <laughs> I'm a foodie, so if I can go and There's get some really trucks. good food and uh, and some food truck food. Mm-hmm. Uh, that could be a lot of fun. So. Yeah. So let me know if you guys are planning on going though, because I would love to like say hi and like meet up and just talk to some of you. We should and do so a meet that up. would be That'd amazing. Be, that could be kind of cool. Or if some of you live in the area and aren't able to afford tickets, reach out to me because I don't mind um, gifting a few tickets or that kind of thing so that we can meet or say hi and just kind of hang out and have fun That's that weekend. LA, so right? yeah, it's in LA. Um, and it's coming up, I think it's June 22nd to the 24th, something like that. But, okay. Um, and then I had one more update. Oh, just overall, what is our plan for family vacation this year? Because as you guys know, every summer we take this big family vacation. Normally I have like our entire summer like planned out and like what we're going to do this day and we're going to do this and blah, blah, blah. And this is the first year where I'm like... We're struggling. Struggling. A, we have a million birthdays in June. A lot. Literally, we have Jake, Jamie's, Liam, Rylan, Bella's, and Joe's. So literally, we have six birthdays. I feel like every couple days, there's a birthday. And I'm and that's like, not even including the crazy middles. Yeah, June and birthdays. the crazy middles have a ton of June birthdays. So. And I'm like, literally, we're just going to be birthday party month the entire month. So we've been kind of like brainstorming on what to do <laughs> and how to make it like special for each one of the kids because it's Liam's first birthday with us. So it's actually really cute because all of the kids and everybody met Bella, Liam, and Rylan on Bella's birthday last year. Um, so we went to like a trampoline park and that kind of thing. So it was really fun. It was also on Father's Day, which was really special. That was a really um, good Father's Day. And then they moved in on Ryland's birthday. So we were like trying to move them in, but also do a, a little birthday for him. So I just want this year and Bella hates her birthday and understandably so. But I told her this year you have people in your life that love and want to celebrate you. And, and it's okay to be celebrated. And I think that's really, really difficult sometimes. I know I struggled with that growing up. So it's okay to be celebrated. Um, but anyways, so those are a couple little updates. We have not planned our family vacation. And we don't know what our plans are this summer. But I'm just excited to be Let us know where you guys time with think the kids. We should go. Be home. I'd be curious to see what you guys are thinking. I know. So, okay. Well, we are going to go ahead and end it here. But thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.